Okay, Aquarius, this is going to be your reading today. Let's see what energies we might be working with here. Okay. Aries energy. Okay. Aquarius. <laughs> okay. Pluto. Okay. So some of you might have a Capricorn cusping energy. Okay. With that Pluto showing up. Pluto's in Capricorn. Okay. Moon. Right. Okay, so Pluto could be Scorpio. So you might have the Scorpio energy in your chart. Rising Scorpio. Uranus. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay, so some of you might have Taurus. Uranus is in Taurus. Okay, so some of you might have... Be uh, Capricorn cusping energy here. Okay. Uh, or Scorpio in your chart. And perhaps uh, find the positive aspects of Scorpio energy. This came up in another reading too today. Okay. Align that um, Scorpio energy with Aquarius energy. Find the positive aspects of Scorpio and line up with that. Okay. And Uranus. Okay. So... If you're in, if you harness Taurus energy, the key is, is not to do uh, my way or the highway here. You got to be a little bit more flexible, uh, I'm picking up, okay? And then um, that moon energy, the uh, not knowing how to approach things because you feel like things were hidden. Okay, so trust your intuition. Okay, and then uh, what else? Okay. This is also uh, Aquarius trying the, uh, stepping into new things that have uh, uncharted territory, okay? So sometimes it, it, they have that saying, sometimes it can be alone at the top, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Uh, what I'm suggesting here is to find new ways to connect with your family, Find new ways to connect with the people you know. And if you can't, if you know you can't, you try it and try it again. Try uh, making new friends, starting a new tribe, or connecting with your people. They don't have to be blood related, right? Your tribe, the people that you vibe with. Sometimes that, that's meant to be. So, and just accepting that is uh, also can be a thing too here. Making peace where things are. Okay, it is what it is, right? And then moving from neutral to positive as much as pos possible. So for some of you who have a love interest, I feel like there's a hidden element and you want more energy to be revealed before you take the big moves. That's what I see. Some of you are making your own, uh, you're like, you're the boss, you're the CEO, you're the person who's moving uh, into this new energy. Okay, so that could be a new business, that could be a new career, that could be a new uh, place you, uh, it could be a transit to another uh, place on, uh, on earth. Okay, so if you're pulling in that Taurian energy, uh, Taurus is trying to go with the flow and take it slow. So that may, uh, if, if you're harnessing that energy, that may be the way right now. Um, and Aries, I feel like, is all about connecting uh, with self and others right now. That's what I pick up. Like building those new foundations and stepping into a new segment in time and reaching for uh, 
more intimacy w within the connections that they have. Okay. All right, so that may be you also. Okay, so the key is here with this Pluto energy is uh, looking out for, okay, if you're going to connect with someone sexually, okay, uh, of course, uh, you know, we're all adults. We do what we want. The key is to move in integrity and also my suggestion always is if you're going to be intimate with someone, move with openness and love. Okay, and I feel like that would be the best course of action with any kind of connection. Okay, so I feel like some of you don't want to reveal your cards <laughs> with the moon energy here. So let's dig into that a little bit. Okay, so, ooh, okay, so Libra... Okay, so we're in Libra Moon, and uh, so you may want to just keep the peace. Keep the peace is what I'm getting for the holidays, right? Keep the peace and move right now. Just It's all about peace and serenity. So with that said, you want to watch out for not listening to what you want also, right? Sometimes... Um, we're trying to make everybody happy, and then we end up not being happy if we're not also tuning in to self here and doing things also to uh, bring joy to your own energy. And like it, that's like also keeping your mouth shut when you, you want to say something. Okay, so you can find... Um, A peaceful way of being and speaking right and uh, but saying what you mean and feel eight of wands okay so communication clear communication okay so clear communication is important here with your love thing and that way you won't feel like you see this angel here is showing uh, covering the chest and heart. So maybe do some yoga with some chest openers will help you stand with your heart emanating out. Okay. And that practice will help you when you come together with other people. Okay. And, uh, and if you do that, even when you're on the computer and, uh, that, that will help you also. So practice that is the suggestion here. Okay. So queen of cups, Okay, so, um, okay, so there's someone with a fire and, uh, fire and water, okay, also I'm picking up, someone with fire and water that is interested in you, okay, and, um, so, but it seems like maybe perhaps, um, uh, Okay, so this seven of wands here is the struggle between uh, being free and liberated, completely uh, delivered from uh, like codependent energy is what I'm getting. So how do you do that? Okay, so the way to do that is full alignment first and then go into a connection right and on the days that you don't feel that aligned i would just uh spend those days uh at the beach or um you know meditate go to some uh gong showers or sound bath or you know hang out with your pets stuff like that okay because you can be fully uh liberated and independent in a divine union as possible with two people coming coming together but the key is the speech okay when there is communication okay um, offer your loving cup okay 
So for the females, I feel like this is a, a water sign. Or a fire sign that's working on being free. Now, that could interpret into many different things. Free of the mind, free of the uh, family's uh, past hurts. It could be, there's a lot here showing up. All right, so let's see. What's next? Yeah. The key is to move in. It, here it says truth and justice. The key is to move. Okay, so here is this money thing again. <laughs> it, now what happens is it keeps showing up if it hasn't been brought into balance. That's what happens. Okay, so if you are a man and you feel like... Um, I'm feeling out to get your money energy. Okay, so... All right, so... What's the what's the solution here? Okay. Okay. They're suggesting here that that is you feeding duality. Okay. There as you train yourself to understand in the pure source within you is flowing into every physical apparatus to support it okay so as we tune ourselves to that more more of that can come into our experience if you're in duality here we'll keep getting that and it'll be cycles and cycles and what is that that's like a learning experience and that's a karmic Thing. It's a learning experience because we it comes into our lives as a lesson to bring us back into alignment if we don't align every day. So that's important too. Okay, so feed your mind in, in thoughts of abundance and stay there. Okay, so it doesn't mean that that funky stuff isn't happening, but as we train our own energy... Uh, to this, you know, positivity, then that has room to uh, make space for the, what we want to come in. Okay. All right. So here is, okay. So, and they're suggesting that this is, it could be coming up because of the holidays too, right? Sometimes we want to grip onto that. Uh, we have to be uh, frugal sometimes, right? Okay, to pay all the bills and this and that. So that's okay. Um, just find more ease, right, with that. Make peace with that. Yeah. Okay. So, as we release all that funky stuff, we can come into... The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and we won't be battling out uh, these things in our minds. Okay. Yeah. Move in your truth. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. I mean, these are obvious things, you know, and, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Some of this has been really painful. My heart goes out to you.
Okay, so how we turn the wheel. Move in our truth. Okay. And here's the page of wands again. Okay, so. Release the past. Move in. Take the baby step towards this uh, potential here. Okay, so some of you in the subconscious mind is, you, you feel like you're going to be seduced and that's going to be your downfall. Okay, so uh, take a look at that and see if you can get to a softer place, some of you. Some of you it's hidden, you don't know, and that's what's causing the uh, not coming together in the past. Okay, and here's Nine of Pentacles. So the suggestion is... Take that baby step, communicate, and go slow in this love, and offer your loving cup, okay, and do the best you can here, and the wheel of fortune is here, so luck is on your side, Metatron, okay, so here's the death card, that's the Scorpio, so it's like rebirth, everybody's been getting like this new potential for a rebirth, and I feel like this is actually you here now, you're here now, okay, so two of swords, yeah, and two of cups, okay, the key is moving forward, don't do the teeter-totter, don't listen to your mind over your heart, Okay, this is two of swords and two of cups. You want this, divine union. It's here. Okay, so don't rule your mind over your heart. Move with your heart and move forward, okay? And sometimes it's hard when we've had a past that's been tumultuous or painful or, you know, all this stuff. And, and, and some of us, uh, you, when you can't, you feel like you couldn't even trust your family. And that set up a, a, a framework that was, um, I hate to say it, but it was doomed for failure. So now we're getting out of that doom and gloom of the past and moving into positivity. Okay, and uh, luck is on your side here with Metatron. Okay, so the key is, is to enjoy the game of life, right? Okay, so uh, it's like having a new canvas to paint on. Every day is a new day. Okay, I can do this. Okay, what else? I'm birthing the new. Health is wealth, and I am healthy now. Okay. I am abundant because my body is healthy. My body is whole. My body is perfect. Oh, okay, so they want me to s suggest this. Okay, one day I spilled paprika on the counter. And, you know, you would think that's an accident, right? Okay, but as I looked down, what was interesting was it was it formed into a young gentleman and uh, another funny, fun uh, creature on top, and I photographed it. Okay, so that looked like a spill, an accident, but actually it was perfection. So, you know, as you're looking at your body in the mirror and, uh, and retraining yourself to love it more, know that no matter what is going on, there is uh, a beautiful emanation there. Okay, and I leave you with that, Aquarius.